Hi, I'm Paweł Spechalski and FR Sky or Free Sky, depends on the pronunciation and the region of the world you are living in, doesn't really stop to surprise me. Not only like uh, last year they started to roll out this new access protocol instead of previously used ACCST protocol, and um, to be honest, the rollout is proceeding pretty nicely, all the new radios, all the new hardware is almost mostly uh, sold, uh, flashed with access, but now, a few years after the last update to any of the ACCST transmitters and receivers, Eversky dropped a bomb. Apparently, since one week you can update our transmitters and receivers and the radios and the flight controllers with integrated ACCST 2.4 GHz Eversky receivers to something called ACCST 2. Great, fantastic. But the question is, should you? Should you update? Well, the list of the changes is relatively short and actually it consists of two positions. Position number one is, let me quote, fix the channel output error, a controlled servo movements under certain conditions. Great, they fixed a bug to, buy, uh, to bet it took them that long to fix this bug. But okay, maybe it's happening from time to time. I never experienced anything like that, so it's definitely not for me. And number two is strengthened correction and verification capability. Yeah, this is this is probably the the whole reason that ACCST two point something was really released because apparently with this update. Um, Eversky introduced uh, encoding. Now the radio protocol is encoded with some kind of the cipher. So it's apparently slightly harder to break the cipher and reverse engineer the protocol and make yourself a new not really official receiver or transmitter compatible with the Eversky radios. It's a, it's a, it's a, because apparently, apparently after updating to the new ACCST, you have to update everything. You have to update transmitter receivers, everything, because the ACCST 2.0 transmitter will not bind and work with one point something uh, receivers and vice versa. So everything has to be updated. If you will not update, then you will not uh, have your full, freed, full fleet working like it should be. Now, what happens if, for example, you have some third-party receivers compatible with D16 of the ACCST? I'm not really sure that such a uh, transmitter receivers exist in the wild, but I never really met, I never got any, any, any like that. D8, yes, D16, no. But what happens if, for example, you have the multi-protocol module? for your radio. So you are using a multi-protocol module, like for example in the T16 or any other radio, or you're just using the multi-protocol module because you thought you're, this is a good idea. Surprise! The multi-protocol modules will not work with the receivers flashed with ACCST 2.0. So, no. On top of that, because of this um, encoding cipher on the air protocol, it will be much harder to break the new protocol and um, reverse engineer it and implement support in all the multi-protocol modules, third-party uh, third party receivers, third-party hardware, which currently is fully compatible with FRSK ACCST. <laughs> I understand. I understand that the Eversky tries to get as much from the market as, as it can, but really, does it really have to be that obvious? Wasn't it enough to just roll out the access and move everything to access in a few years? No, really, you have, have to really do this. Really, 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 really. So, um, should you update to ACCST too? No, 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 no. Don't. Don't trouble yourself. Don't don't do it. Don't uh, give anybody else a reason to maybe to update. Stay with the current ACCST 
ignore the 2.0 version, 2.xx version. Absolutely ignore it, don't update. No, it doesn't matter, that's not needed, that's not required. You will have to flash everything if you have the multi-protocol module, it will not work with you. So no, 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 absolutely, absolutely not. There is, however, uh, one thing that um, was not really 100% sure what happens with the D eight receivers after the AC the transmitter is updated to the ACC ST2. Apparently it does it, it still works. It still works. If you have the D8 receiver and you try to bind it with the ACC ST2 point X point X transmitter, it's working. However you will not be able to bind D16 receiver in D8 mode like it was possible before. This is unfortunately, or fortunately, this is not working. So, but if you have all the eight, it's working fine. If you have the 16 working in the eight, but why do you really want to do something stupid like that? That it won't work. Nevertheless, don't update. No, 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 no. Um, I'm sure of few things in the life, and this is definitely one of the things I'm really 100% sure. Don't make for sky a favor and do not complicate your life and do not absolutely do not update to the new accst 2.x.x mm -mm. not cool not cool for sky not cool you could have just waited for the access to be rolled out fully not cool mm -mm. okay so um my rant or actually a valuable consumer advice is over until the next one bye bye